Welcome back to another random day in my 23 year old life. Today I have quite a few things to do, but I'm starting out the day with an iced matcha drink. I recently got into matcha and I wanted to try making it for myself. I know there are so many things I am doing wrong, so I'm sorry if you are an avid matcha drink maker and lover. I am learning and working on it and I know I don't have all the correct tools, but this was pretty good. A little too watery, but it was pretty good. I've also been trying to get better at doing daily Bible studies. It's something that I have never been perfect at, and I'm sure it'll be a while before it really becomes a habit. But I recently have loved doing word studies when you go by the verse and you study the Greek and Hebrew words, the original language. And later in this video, I'll show you guys exactly how I do that. But yeah, I've really been enjoying that and adding that a part of my day. As you guys know, Brendan and I are fully moved to New Mexico now. We are staying with my in-laws and these past couple weeks, we've really just been trying to adjust being honestly in someone else's house. We are so grateful that they opened their house, but it is an adjustment, especially coming from a place that we really put so much time, money, and energy into making it feel like home. So this is definitely a new venture and we're curious to see if it's going to be longer than we think, or is this kind of just a stepping stone into what God has for us next? Good morning, guys. So the buggy boy and I are headed to the park for a little bit. Um, it's been a pretty productive morning, and I know he definitely needs to get some energy out, so it'll be really fun to just kind of hang out, especially since it's not that hot today. Kind of leaving late than I normally do when I take him to the park. I like to try to go earlier just because it gets really hot in the afternoon here. Um, but yeah, it's cool today, so we're gonna have a good day. I got my book, jalapeno chips, water, we're all set. Okay, so we are back from the park. It was way too windy to actually enjoy being outside. So I'm gonna try to get some work done. And then this afternoon, I'm making some stew and fresh bread, which will be really fun. And I wanna show you guys how I do it. It's so funny. I recently just spent time going through all of my old videos and honestly making some private that the world just doesn't need to see. And it is crazy to see just the ventures that I've had and how much I fell in love with art when I realized I could pursue it as a career. And, and when I say art, I mean that in so many different forms and mediums. Um, I've ventured into so many different new ones over the past few years and I'm excited to see how it goes and just my business ventures as a young teenager and hopes and dreams of what that could turn into. It's just so fun to look back and see and I say all that to say I am entering a new venture now and it's really exciting. It's something that I hope to share more details with you guys soon. I actually think I will make it in a new video, um, probably the next one, but I'm excited to see the new things that I get to do and just learn. Like it's so fun to look back and realize what you have learned and it makes it more exciting for the things that you'll get to learn in the future, knowing that you will improve and get better. So I wanted to show you guys real quick how I do my Bible studies. I recently decided to study um, verse by verse, kind of how my pastor teaches. I really enjoy going through the Bible that way and kind of breaking down a verse. I think there's so much more in a verse than when we just simply read by it. But um, so up here is just the, the verses that I'm going through. I'm doing um, Fear. This is all about fear just because of one of the books I'm reading right now. These verses are from that, so I wanted to break them apart. But if you're new to studying the Bible or if you want to start this way, I would also highly recommend doing it by chapter, um, specifically in the New Testament if you are new, because context is very important. And I think that is one of the best ways to have all the context is to do it verse by verse um, in one chapter. But um, topic studies are also good and that is what I'm doing. So this up here is where I put my verse and then I will highlight the keywords of the verse of what I believe are the keywords of the verse and then I will write down the keywords 
and I will write down the Greek or Hebrew. I'll write down just how you pronounce it. And then I'll look at the definitions and I'll read more about the word. And then I'll do like a little description of what else or what more I got out of a verse after I did this part. And I'll show you guys, I use the Blue Letter Bible and I'll show you how I do it on there as well. So when you open the app, it should pop up to whatever um, translation you have. I like having two side by side. I do the New King James and NLT right now. Um, so if you find whatever verse you're reading, you click on the verse and then you go to the interlinear here. Okay, so once you get to this, you can actually click on either one of these. I always just click on the Strong's reference and you'll see the English words on this side and you can switch it by pressing reverse up here, however you like it. But once you find the word that you, you know, are studying, so let's say in this word, this verse, I'll choose scent. We'll just do scent. So I'll click on that. And then for some reason, hold on, there we go. So you can click here and it'll say the verse for you, or the word. Strong's G, 3992. Pampo. Pampo. And so you also have the pronunciation. So I always like to hear it. Um, and then I write down the pronunciation as well. And then you will usually see, so if I like look up answered, I most likely will see answered in the description, but there's usually other ways of how it was used. And if you keep scrolling, it gives you all of these definitions. Um, it gives you like the original word itself. I really, really like it. And then you have the Greek lexicon down here. And then you have other verses where this same word was used um, throughout the Bible when it was translated. So I really like using this for those studies. I'm still getting used to the Blue Letter Bible. And there's commentaries, there's videos, there's, you know, you have your translation comparisons, there's cross references, so other verse that support the verse that you're reading. Um, but yeah, if you guys want more of it, detailed video, you can let me know. I love cooking so much, guys. I know I have said that in the past couple of videos, but it truly has become more than just a hobby. I'm realizing that it's a genuinely fun way to serve my family. I just love playing around with ingredients and making something that is hearty and that tastes good like we need to eat daily in order to care for our bodies like eating healthy hearty foods is so important and i love that it's just a fun process it can be a fun process and i know that is not the case for everybody a lot of the time it feels more like a chore but when you really view it as serving your family or right now for me that's my husband and i look forward when i get to do that for my kids but i do see it as a way that i get to serve him especially since he is um, the one who's mainly working right now. And while I am pursuing things on the side, his income is what cares for us. And so for me, this is the way that I get to give back and say thank you. And I absolutely love that. And I honestly hope that this just encourages you to get in the kitchen a bit more, try something new. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. And a lot of these recipes, even homemade stuff, guys, it's really not as hard as you think. It's so much easier than you think most of the time. And it does take trial and error, but once you get it down, you feel so good and so confident. Like, wow, I, I made that. And I love that that's what cooking can be and that you can actually create something with it and you get to eat it and it tastes good. Like food, food is so good, guys. So I really wanted to try a textured piece because it's been so long, especially since we've moved and a lot of my art stuff is still in storage. I haven't been able to paint with plaster or different compounds, some, some sort of texture in a long time. And this was really fun, but I do want to apologize. I think I just got so focused on what I was doing that honestly, you can't see all that I'm doing and I, I'm working on it guys. I'm trying to get better at just filming in general and you know, doing better <laughs> at getting different angles for you guys and really making you feel like you're there with me. But yeah, I just totally forgot the camera was on apparently. And yeah, half the time you can't really see what I'm doing, but it was fun. 
I'm really gonna have to figure out how to get this to dry the correct way at just the right temperature because these were so thick I think they dried a bit too it was too cold and um, they cracked and yeah there's just the right temperature and it feels I feel really rusty at this I just haven't done it in a while so hopefully I'll kind of get back in a groove but I wanted to practice some swiping techniques because I really want to take this to a pretty big canvas with a lot of texture and really just play around and make something really cool but I do also think that this texture was just a bit too smooth for this particular type of technique so it's just something I have to play around with and I'm sure I will get better at. It's the this is the texture. Mm -hmm. Oh, the taste too. Yeah, the taste of it. That's interesting. Jalapeno cheese. Bolty out. Good boy. so good so I decided to throw together this little charcuterie board it is definitely not my prettiest board I love making my boards pretty but I just threw this together and it tasted really good the stew turned out really well it was pretty hearty I would change adding water to it not sure why the recipe calls for that because I don't think it is necessary and I couldn't remember if I did it last time or not so I just added it this time but definitely something I would change but it did turn out really good still I did not make bread um, this day because I just really honestly didn't feel like it but it was still really good all right guys I'm gonna end it here um, hopefully you enjoyed this video just a random Monday my weeks change um, all the time just depending on what I'm doing where I'm at <laughs> <laughs> what state I'm in um, but I definitely love to cook and I try to do that pretty often throughout the weeks and um, but yeah it was nice painting today specifically with um, the texture art because I haven't done that in a really long time so that was a lot of fun I really want to practice that like swiping technique it's a lot harder Ooh. there we go um, it's a lot harder than a lot of people think like when you watch it it looks so easy but actually trying to do it it's pretty tricky so I'm gonna try to practice more but ideally I really want to do it on like a large pretty large canvas I think it'll look really really cool um, but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one bye guys